Put the belt down. Just put it down. I, I, well, I like the belt. Just put the belt down. It's my legacy belt. Okay, so great, you got it? It's not, it. it's, I designed it. it. It's not I that one. I don't okay. care. I'll put, put it, it down. down. Okay. Put it okay. down on Your the floor. Your name's on it. Look, put there's it, a little figure Look at me in my eye. Okay. Put it down okay, now. Okay, I'm sorry. Don't, Obviously. Don't blow this. Okay, is the music happening? Shut up. Okay, sorry. Welcome to Hey EW, I am RJ City, and my guest is David Arquette. Hey. Hey. Where did you go wrong? Hey, <laughs> where did I go wrong? Where did you go wrong? Hey. When I met you, perhaps. Hey. Yeah, hey, I said hey, you hey. said hey, and then we end it. Don't give no. me the hey back, it ends. No, why? I said hey, you said hey, we're done. Okay, Okay. Hey. You had so much promise. You had so much I initial did. success, and then yeah. it was boom, 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 boom. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. you're still kind of tumbling it away. Yeah, yeah. And every Hollywood career has peaks and valleys. Yes. But yours looks like an ocean depth chart. Yeah. So where did you go wrong? I don't know. Just tuck your chin, kids. Yeah. See, you really did that Mickey Rourke, the wrestler thing for real, just without <laughs> any success or visibility, yeah. you know? It's Brendan true. Fraser figured it out. What's your excuse? Uh, no, I, 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 don't, I don't have an excuse. Yeah, I, I think just... you need a role that'll bring you back, you know? Yes. A role with somebody with an ailment. What ailment yes. would your character need to have? I, I mean, any of just Besides the one. one that you have. I have so many of them. Yeah. You could just use the ones I have. No, 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 you no. have to act it. Don't oh. be it. Oh. Right? Maybe a club foot, and they, the movie's called yes. Club Man or something. Oh. Right? So, yeah. Think you're interested in I like in that it? one. Yeah. <sighs> ready uh, to rumble. Or, uh, yeah, ready to rumble. That's good. That's yeah, good. Let me lead it, please. Okay. You're not saying anything of note. Okay. Well, I have a great uh, killer uh, koalas from uh, outer space. I, that's an idea I have. Was any of that a sentence? Sorry. <laughs> ready to rumble. Yes. The film that made your wrestling career and ruined your life. Yeah. What I think is fantastic about it is that you're not even really the star. You know, you're like a side character. Well, kind of. If you look deep, I kind of become the star. Mm, no, it's an Oliver Platt vehicle. It but is. But why did you get stuck <laughs> holding the bag? How did he know to get in, get the money, and get out? Uh oh, Oliver's smart that way. Yeah. He's always. <laughs> so and you were just still hanging around. It. Yeah, I'm doing it for the wrong reasons, yeah. apparently. Who is to blame for you getting into wrestling? I talked to <laughs> Jeff Jarrett, and he blamed it on Tony Schiavone. Who yeah. do you blame for you? Tony Schiavone, I think, threw my name in the hat as a joke, which then ended up taking on a life of its own. So thank you, Tony. Yeah, so the last 30 years have been a sick <laughs> Schiavone prank? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. That is incredible. What do you want to say to him right now? Uh, Anything? Well, I, uh, thank you, Shivani. I tried to get him in the wrestling documentary I did. But yeah, he was smart enough to know to stay away from that. <laughs> yeah, too. I couldn't find him, so I bet I got a howdy price. Sure. Howdy! Yeah, okay, good. Reference someone that doesn't yes. work here. That's a great idea. I know, he should work here. Yours? Don't he pull, should, don't, he would he you? Should, howdy should, probably should come here Stop it. and teach okay. Dan Housen a thing or two. Not once have we been on the rails. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm sorry. Let's get back Your on Your wrestling rails. career was so bad, right? But then the wrestling business has gotten so much worse since that yeah. everyone kind of went, oh, okay, he can come back in. Yeah, you, that's you, good. That's, right? That's pr typically my career path is yeah. just stick around long enough that they're just sort of like, oh, he's still here. Yeah. And then, you know, something good yeah. will happen. Because for a while, you were the benchmark of a celebrity in wrestling. They thought any celebrity in wrestling would be just as bad as you. But so many celebrities since then have been very good. Uh, Stephen Amell, Action Bronson, Shaq, maybe not Snoop Dogg, but still, not only better wrestlers, but bigger celebrities than you. Is it hard to leave the house some days? Oh, wow. There were so many... Back in <laughs> insults. I'm just asking. I'm just no, asking. No, no. I'm asking. See, I just, just I'm asking how mean. do you keep perspective? You're just being mean. I'm not you'll being mean. You'll never have this belt, I don't RJ. want it. I don't you're want never, it. No, you bought the belt. Never. You threw I your did. own birthday it's party. It's my legacy Put belt. Put it down. It's my it's legacy gonna be, belt. It's going to probably have to be blurred. Because okay. it's not legally cleared. It is legally cleared. Even the one that I I Okay, do This is not about the belt. all of the legends won. Put it down. All of them. David. That one is public David, domain. David, okay. Focus. Sorry. Okay. Control. Okay. 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 Thank you. And what about that? Why don't we get that belt? Why don't we get that belt here? Because no, if you have no, the original sh belt, no. that's okay. essentially the same belt, and then let's start wrestling Look for it. Look at me. This chunk will be edited out. Okay. <laughs> Your family has a rich history in wrestling. Uh, yeah. Your father that's did a voice on Hulk Hogan's Rock and Wrestling. And now, Hulk Hogan is dabbling in Scientology. Do you think we need more Scientologists wow. in wrestling? 
Whoa, 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 wow. Yeah. I don't know. I once got a call um, uh, from, oh, gosh. L. Ron Hubbard? It. No, no, close. Keep going. Kirstie Alley? No, no, no. Tom Cruise? <laughs> no, I once mistaked Tom Cruise. I called it. I said, hey, Sean. And I was like, no, that's your name's yeah. not Sean. You've been banned no, from Scientology? No, no, the other one, the uh, Grease guy. Um, John, Travolta, John Travolta. The Grease guy. John Travolta called me up one time, and I was David, so excited. I was Travolta. like, oh, my gosh, I'm such a fan. I was like, hey. And essentially, he was trying to get me into rehab. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, oh, and no. So I don't know. I, lo I, love, I love everybody. It's <laughs> so nice that you really fly in the face of the term Hollywood elite. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> you went to the Burning Man Festival. Yeah. You dressed in Randy Savage's actual gear, yeah. and you handed out Slim Jims. Why? Because I think it would be something that Randy would have enjoyed. I I'm sorry. George, can you hear him over the sound of Randy rolling in his grave? <laughs> just, Randy loves Just checking. It. Your celebrity family feud team was yes. me, Dubia Start, Dalton Castle, yeah. Peter Avalon, yeah. and Jungle Boy. So yeah. of your own family feud team, you're the only person that has not worked for AEW. Does that sting? Oh, wow. That does sting. But I'm but also the only person here. that was the heavyweight world champion. Yeah, of with a the company same, that doesn't exist yeah, anymore. Yeah, with, yeah, my with the exactly. same belt that was with all the legends. You did almost work for AEW. Oh, Tell yeah. everyone how you blew it. How did I blow it? Did I almost work here? Do you remember, like years ago, <laughs> Jungle Boy was having a big match? Yes, And yes. they told you, hey, <laughs> yes. we want you to sit front row. Yes. And you said, OK, I'll see you there. Uh, and yeah. you assumed they meant <laughs> that week. No, so, it was that week. They changed it without telling me. So you showed up. But I flew myself out, which was not a smart idea. Yeah. And then I showed up, and they're like, you're here? And they're like, yeah, well, we pushed it to next week. And then you just hung out backstage. No, I didn't even go backstage. They didn't I just let you hopped on a plane. I just left. I saw like Cody at the, at the elevator. He's like, oh, what are you doing? Oh, now? God. I know. It's so embarrassing. Yeah. I do those you know, things yeah. all the time. Though. Maybe watch an episode once in a while. <laughs> do you remember when you thought the other company was going to put you in the Hall of Fame? <laughs> what motivational book were you reading that week? Look, look who just went in. I know. Andy Kaufman. Yeah, it's an exclusive club, and you're no Kid Rock. <laughs> you were also on an episode of Being the Elite. <laughs> Thank God. The Young Bucks didn't recognize you. They didn't let no. you win a battle royal, and then they super kicked you. Yeah. What do you have to say to them right now? Uh, uh, um. It must be strange to see two siblings that are equally successful. <laughs> no, I see that. Do you want to talk about Mark Ruffalo? Yeah, let's talk about Mark Ruffalo. Okay. You really? You sure? Yeah, about it? we can take okay, Mark I have Ruffalo down, Stanley Tucci down, One Reese time. Wilverspoon. Reese Wilverspoon. <laughs> Somebody get this guy a copy of Us Weekly, please. Let me read the quote that Ruffalo said about you to Page Six years and years and years ago. <laughs> this was not to Page Six, it was GQ magazine. And I quote He's the worst tipper in the world, he's an awful human being. I mean, he's cool now, but he was such a low-class drunk. He was a dumbass. He was young, dumb, and full of, you know, I'm not even going to say the word, but yeah. the, the essence of life is what yeah. you were full of. Mm. Right? Yes. What do you have to say to him? Nothing. I mean, that was years ago. I have your And back. I was. By the way, I was all those things. Yeah. You, you don't have to say it. I know I that about you. I don't tell people that. Okay. I look at you right now and I go, oh, my God. But I don't say it to a newspaper. <laughs> so on behalf of myself, yes. eat Mark Ruffalo. There you go. Look at that. Thanks for adding. It was yeah, really helpful. I know, I know. The new Scream film is a huge hit. Yes. I would congratulate you, but you're not in it. Do you think that's why it was so successful? Yeah, I think it was more successful because I'm not in it. MJF <laughs> yes. was re-bar uh -huh. at age 27, but you have him beat because you had your first bar mitzvah at age 41. At you, the Wailing Wall. You went there. I went you there. did the whole thing, but this is the quote you gave hmm. when the news covered it. So it was such an important event. To my regret, I never studied the Torah. I haven't any basic knowledge of it, and I feel a great void. Did you use your celebrity to skip to the front of the line of Judaism? Uh, when you go to the Wailing Wall, if you're Jewish, getting a bar mitzvah at the Wailing Wall is equivalent to getting a wedding in Las Vegas. It becomes very easy. You just follow along. They sort of explain it all to you, and then. So you don't, can't do a little Torah for us now? You don't remember anything? No, but I can do a dance. 
You, do your dance. <laughs> do your dance. I can't Make really do the dance. Do your dance. I don't know. You gotta lift me up on the no, chair. I'm not lifting you up. No, lift me up. I've been trying to do it for years, and it's now hurting my back. <laughs> There's also tables back here, and I have to fight the urge this whole interview to put you through one. Oh, you've got the wrestling in your bones. No, again. but no. what about you? Why don't you wrestle? You're here at this big company. What happened to you wrestle? Don't they know that you were no, married to the nasty boys on the road? Stop it. This guy isn't. He's not just a, like the wrestling Ryan Seacrest. Yeah, yeah, I said it. Or uh, uh, think film, of one other person. What's Filmer? The, what, who, great. What, you are in such a role. And I thought that? if I just let him speak, it'll no, be over no, soon. And no, lo and behold, who? Wilmer Valderrama? Is that no, who you're thinking no, of? The, 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 Willard Scott? No, okay, okay. Uh, Let's Kathy move on. Lee and Gifford and the other guy. You Regis, started here and Kathy Lee. Regis. Oh my God. So you think you're like the Regis of wrestling, yeah. but you actually wrestle. Yeah. I, Give him a shot. Don't give me a shot. Put him in the. Don't listen put him to in. Them. Don't listen. If anything, this He's man a do the opposite. <laughs> and I'm losing right now. Since you'll never be on Inside the Actor Studio, even if it was still on, you wouldn't be on it. Let's do a little Inside the Wrestler Studio, okay. shall we? Okay. A little questionnaire. Yeah, look at this. Who is your favorite wrestler? You are. I'm not you? a wrestler. We've established this now. You're not Let's anymore. Just pick You're someone else. Anymore. Pick someone in the company, for God's sake. Dalton Castle, absolutely. Up. My favorite wrestler right now, no doubt about it. Who is your least favorite wrestler? Huh. Uh, you know, not a big fan of Jeff Jarrett, pretending like he doesn't know me. <laughs> I gave him the rub, who gave him one of his championships. Yeah. I had, I was there, I had the yeah, thing, I was the there. I, I had the thing, I, I was there. I used the thing. I used the thing. To That's, let him yeah. win the thing. Long-term storytelling. What's your favorite chant? I, uh, 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 you deserve it is a pretty good one. Uh huh. Because you're big on this that self help often. deal. No, it's something no, you, you no. chant to yourself when in the I, mirror. Put it down. Yes, yes. I, I have this in the mirror every morning. Put it down. And Put it down, please. You Thank deserve you. it. Strike. Yeah. You yep. deserve it. We got it. it. Okay. What wrestling move do you love? I've been looking at it all. Think you got to figure four it. leg David, lock right David, here. David, stop it, David. Stop it, David. Control. Lock, That's right. not a figure four leg lock. First of all, that was a sharpshooter, you idiot. <laughs> Second of all, stop touching me. <laughs> I what do wrestling? Love a figure four leg lock was the first move I learned. Yeah. yeah, and you learned it well. What wrestling move do you hate? Uh, a pile driver. Yeah. What <laughs> profession other than wrestling would you like to try? Um. <laughs> I'm a certified Bob Ross instructor. Uh huh. I can teach anybody sure. how to do. Maybe acting? Acting would be nice. Yeah. I still want to learn some of that. Mm -hmm. What has wrestling taught you? I've got a show coming out on Peacock called Mrs. Davis. So I'm doing all right, RJ. I'm doing all right. Just lean in. Wrestling, just what is wrestling? Just, <laughs> just, just, just I'm not going to hate you. <laughs> Peacock is probably not the best streaming platform to talk about. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Oh. You understand what I'm saying? You put those pieces Thanks. together. Yeah. Thanks a lot. I really appreciate it. Oh, sorry about really. that. No, it's really good. I think it's airing on TBS. <laughs> if AEW exists, yes. what do you want to hear Tony Khan say if you walk into his backstage office? Oh, 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 oh. oh. It's the, world, it's the world champion. It's the Hollywood heavyweight champion of the world. <laughs> and I think it would be apropos if we closed with your famed line from C. Spotman. I'm Governor Gaga. <laughs> if that isn't a career metaphor, I don't know what is. <laughs> that was a setup. Why don't you wrestle anymore? Go on. David. <laughs> David. <laughs> David. <laughs> That's strike one, David. <laughs> when we wrestled, he was like, okay, this one, and then I'll come up and I'll slap you. The open hand chop is one of the most painful shots when applied with some force. I want this tape burned. <laughs> That's the dance you did at the wall? <laughs> I feel like I've taken expired LSD. <laughs>